Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of Blasted Oasis. So last night I was working on a few things. We got some more stuff melted in here um, to both forge some iron and some brass and everything. And then I did a little bit of work downstairs here. As you can see, this has all been updated. Well, not all of it, but a bunch of it's been updated here. I'm just trying to make it so that, you know, the base is slightly um, prepared for any eventuality if a horde does break in here. So I spent a bit of time last night updating some stuff downstairs. I'm just going to quickly knock this in real fast. Um, we got some experience. Whoops, got that already. Let's get this bit. There we go. There's the next day. And then let's just update these here as well. Just in case. I don't foresee them ever breaking in here, but That'll be the episode I think that this uh, series probably ends when they break in and destroy everything. <laughs> All right, let's get those updated. All right, that should be good, I think. Maybe this one too. And this one. Just in case we get some guys exploding up here, which is, I don't know. We'll see how it goes. But as you can see, I got the second level all the way around here updated to concrete. So we got four levels from the base all the way up. Um, so if they stack on each other, they won't be breaking in. This is brick here, so I'm not worried about that. Um, if it was wood, I might update it, but we're updated all the way around. And in the basement, I went ahead to, and the whole the whole floor here is all brick now. Uh, and I reinforced some of the pillars down here. This one's concrete under the back door here. I added another pillar here. I mean, I'll lay this basement out eventually and make it look nice, but for now, I just made sure all the pillars were strong in case they do come in and get down here we want to make sure that uh, they don't pull the building down now I think if these pillars came out it would probably still remain standing these are just extra reinforcement so that's all this is and these walls are all uh, concrete here uh, I shouldn't have done that but um, that's all concrete around here so um, we're okay there now I didn't do anything out here uh, we left this reinforced like I said I was gonna do so we are ready to go here for the horde. I'm going to leave these concrete. Uh, worst case scenario, we need to update them. We can go ahead and do that. I don't think they're going to get on the roof because we've ever got everything up there set up and ready to go. So let's just quickly go upstairs and have a look outside here. Yeah, see, now this is like, maybe I should just do that. I don't think they're going to get up here, but just in case. So that just stops them from piling up on each other and climbing up here if they're at the front door. Um, so yeah, we're ready to go for the horde. I just want to spend some time, I think, around the house today. I don't want to go too far, um, just because um, I want to make sure that we're okay here when, we, when, when it comes to horde night. I do want to go outside and see if there's anything else I need to update. I'm almost out of cobble. I think I used, yeah, I used all the cobble pretty much on the floor and stuff, so I'll have to buy some more. Tomorrow's is the, uh, yeah, tomorrow the traders restock, so we'll be able to get some stuff from them tomorrow. Now, um, Let's have a quick look here at our skills. So I'm working on getting, uh, I want to get Fortitude up because I want to get Machine Gunner up. How many points do we got? Two? I'm going to put them both into Fortitude. Uh, and if we can get another level today, I'll put it into Machine Gunner because I want to I want to go ahead, I want to craft an M60. But I don't want to do it until, like I thought about pulling apart. We've got one more AK in here. And that would give us enough parts to, because um, we've only got, where is it? Six parts right now. We need nine for a level two MK, uh, M60. I think we need, it might be 10 or 11 to get the level three, but I want to wait and make a level three. I want to at least have something that's um, the ability to have two mods in it, not just one, because we have the uh, rad remover and the clip extender, which I want to get into the M60. And then I think we'll just leave the AK here and just take the M60 wherever we go. There's no point in like, not using it all the time. We've got tons of ammo too, so. But for tonight, for tonight, we don't really need it. we got tons of pipe bombs and lots of ammo for the AK, so we should be fine. All right, now let's go outside. I'm interested to see how they react to these stairs. So I don't want to do any more on these until we find out what they're going to do with them. Let's get these corners updated a little bit. Now, how much cobble do I have left? A fair bit. So that's level one. So let's get this corner to level one. I like having the, uh, just a personal preference, I like having the corners updated as much as I can.
All right, now they had, that's that blue siding. Okay. And I can't get in there, I don't think. Let's just take a piece of the siding off to do that. I can do it. Yep, there we go. Excellent. Now how much concrete do we have left? 81. Let's take this first row up to concrete too here. Okay, so that's the outside updated. Um, I did hit up around here a little bit, just on the sides. Uh, we'll see how they do coming in this way. Maybe we should... Um, uh, I'm going to do the one above. Should do these guys too. I don't know. We'll see how this goes. Uh, how much we have left here? Another 18 blocks. I'm going to update these guys too. I'm just worried that they're going to see this as a weak spot and try and get through here instead of um, coming right to the door. I'm sure they're going to come to the door, pretty sure. But let's make sure that this is uh, at least reinforced here as well. Alright, I'm still kind of feeling iffy about this, but we'll see how it goes. Um, yeah, I don't think they're going to see these as weaknesses. At least I hope they don't. Do that. Yeah. Okay. I think we're fine. Well, you know what Thought did, right? Thought he farted, but he shit himself. We'll find out soon enough if that's okay. Ooh, a little bit of a lag there. Um, could be a, a horde spawning in, too. I should watch out for that. Uh, so we got a skill point from updating all those. We're going to go straight into Machine Gunner. And let's go get that M60 moving, because... Uh, we do have the ability to make that now at level 3, and I think I want that for tonight if we can get it done. So uh, if I remember correctly, we need steel, mechanical parts, we're going to need... Oh, i got to check to see. That would mean me ditching the AK. Um, ditching my current AK, that is. It's 12 parts. So I'd have to scrap both AKs and just go with the M60. Do I want to do that? Oh. I guess fortune favors the bold, huh? Uh, what else do we need? Duct tape, scrap polymers. Oh man. Let's just do it. Okay, so we're doing 52 damage with this one. Ah, oh, man. Let's just do it. That'll give us enough parts. We got a pistol if anything goes wrong, right? We're, we're okay. Let's make that M60. Five minutes and we'll have an M60. All right, let's pull this down, though. Just for now. Um... And let's put this ammo in here. Um, and bring out some of this, just in case we need it. It's not going to stop a bear, but... Um, yeah. Alright. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. I really hope we don't get screwed on this. Alright, let's put this stuff away. Maybe we will go do something today. Something simple. Uh, let's drop this stuff in here. We'll wait for the uh, we'll wait for this to come back. I'm gonna do do some cooking, I think. Yeah, let's just wait for that to come back. We'll put the pistol away. We'll wait for that to come back, then we'll head out. Let's we'll grab. Uh, if we're gonna do that though, should probably grab two stacks of ammo. Let's go do some cooking in the kitchen here. So we got a bunch of stuff cooked up. Ah, uh, some bacon and eggs are still going. I didn't have blueberries to make blueberry pie anymore. I used all my blueberries, so we'll have to buy some more of those. Although we do have enough food now for a while. Let's go ahead and use some of this stuff. Alright. 
yeah, so we should be okay. So what do we got here? Five blueberry pies, four bacon and eggs, and three meat stew, plus a bunch of other stuff. So we're, I mean, I don't have, I'm not, I'm not worried about going hungry in this game. And what do we need for tonight? We're going to need the eye candy for tonight at the end. Uh, skull crushers. We've only got one. Let's go check. Uh, man, I don't want to go down there just yet. I want to wait till we get this back. I was going to say let's go to the trader and see if we can see if we can get a uh, some skull crusher candy for tonight. But I don't want to go do that until we know we can. Uh, <laughs> we've got some guns on us in case we get attacked by a bear. This block right here is still wet. It will not update and I don't know whether it's just regular concrete or reinforced I think it's regular it didn't update last night it's still wet and I haven't gone anywhere so it should be drying I'm not sure why it's not drying I'm sure it's just RNG BS but we'll see how it goes oh we got some stuff in here we need to update let's go ahead and grab what we got left here real quick bring you down you and you we can get a couple blocks updated while we're waiting Oh, that's brick. Okay, this is all brick too, right? Right. So let's get this one and this one. So that's just the walls right behind here. Perfect. Okay. All right, that's all right. We're ready to go, kind of, I hope. Like if they break in here, I don't know if they bust these walls down. I don't think they'll do. it'll do anything. So this is a full wall. Let's just go ahead and update this. We got enough for three. Yeah. And then we've got one concrete. So I'm not that worried about it. I should probably do the whole wall here. At least to reinforce wood. Alright. I'm sure we'll be taking all these internal walls down because these eat up two blocks here, right? So we'll be taking all these internal walls down then I'll figure out what we're going to do with them later on. Now we gotta update all this up here too at some point. Alright, let's see if that M60's done. Alright, there we go. Level 3 M60. Let's get her in the uh, toolbar here. Uh, let's modify you. So we're dealing with 57 damage. Okay, so it's comparable. Definitely comparable. That takes a little while to reload, but we got 88 rounds in it, so I feel confident that we shouldn't have to worry about much. Yeah, look at this thing. All right, let's get going. I think this is the first time I've used an M60 in a playthrough, like other than on Horde Nights, you know? All right, let's go to the trader and see if we can pick up some more Skull Crushers for tonight. All right, so the trader loaded in weird today. Uh, we, got, I, we got one Skull Crusher. We didn't bring our money. God damn it. All right, let me reload this because it's like bugging out here. There we go. I find every once in a while, like, especially if I'm running around or driving really fast, you end up with really weird, uh, really weird stuff. Okay, let's go home and get our money. We'll come back, buy that one. And then I think, ah, oh man, I d we should probably test out this, uh, we should probably test out the M60. We're going to have to take it someplace and give it a good run through on some zombies. So let's go grab 100 coin. Well, let's grab our money. I was going to say just grab 100 coin, but if we find another vending machine out there somewhere, we can check that too. It's nice having the all oh, like skull crushers enough for the entire night. That way you don't have to worry about uh, running out. All right, let's get in here. Ooh, our coins over here points not doing any trading today I keep remembering we got to we got to bring that uh, 44 with us all right let's go back to the trader all right buy the skull crusher I think we'll buy the sugar butts too and the eye candy just so we have it on us all right we're gonna hit up some iron here before let's not make noise we have a little bit of iron in our iron mine down here. Beautiful. We're going to grab a bit of this and then we'll move on. All 
All right, that should be enough. We got almost 2,000, a couple of hundred sand. Let's, let's hit, hit up one more of these and then we'll get out of here. I think we want to go to one of those passing gases today though. All right, that should give us, let's make it over 2,000 just because. Oh, somebody heard us. Is that a wandering horde? Nope, sounds like just one guy. I'm down here. Hello? Hello? Wow, I forgot about that. Oops. <laughs> well, there's a mistake. You don't look so happy. Uh, you just stay there. Sleep, sleep it off. <laughs> All right, let's go and find a passing gas somewhere. And right across the street, we got ourselves a passing gas. And a bird. Get lost. Home run! Alright, let's go in here. I think I'm, I'm, like, I know this place pretty well. 390, that's nice. We're going to take these cars apart and stuff, but we'll just start by looting the outside here real quick. Guess I should be careful about bears. Grab these guys. What's in here? One potato. Well, we'll take it. We need two for a meat stew, but one's not bad. Let's grab this. Nice. I really should be looking over my shoulder when I'm doing this. I keep forgetting like sometimes that I'm in the wastelands now. You, you get so used to playing in a certain area. And then you start taking things for granted and you're like, ah, oh, yeah, we're, we're fine. No, you're not fine. Not always. Grab this one. Take that. Take this. Take all this free stuff. Grab this brick. Iron. Stone. What have we got in here? Oh, that's not bad. Four lockpicks? Yeah, man. Take those. Take the plastic. Alright, let's wrench this car apart. Okay, a few components. Wrench this a car apart. I remember playing a long time ago. Alpha 18, I think it was, or it might have been 17 in the desert. Desert only. And it was like really tough to try and find like a half decent amount of clay. So we'd have to like hit up manure piles like this to just get enough clay to survive sometimes. To make farm plots and whatever you needed for your uh, furnace and stuff. All right, let's go in here. Actually, let's go ahead and take this apart too. Get some snowballs. All right, let's repair you. I know it doesn't quite need it yet, but we're gonna do it. And let's bring you up. Hello. Ooh, that was a miss. Let's just kneecap him. Ooh. Now, sometimes there's somebody like right behind this door. So let's just double check that. I've walked in this place before. And there's been someone like right here. I was a trash can now. They used to hide them right behind that door. Crap. Uh, I should have just switched rather than uh, swinging with the axe. Okay, vitamins, nice. Nothing. Take the cloth though. Ah, uh, what do we got in here? Nothing. Not having the looter goggles, I think, makes a big difference. 
But it just makes it more difficult for us, and I'm okay with that. I don't mind it being a little difficult. Cornmeal we can take. Does this one work? No, it's busted. Ooh, what's this one? We plant fibers in the cloth. Oh yeah, great. I don't know where you would need that. Like honestly, in this game, that seems like a uh, one of those things that's like oh, there's something up there. There is one of those things that you don't really have to worry about. Like there's cloth everywhere. Can I get? I can't get up on that. I wonder if I just take this out. Yep, there we go. Ergonomic grip. Beautiful. Okay, so this thing... Let's modify this. That's going to help a lot. I know somebody mentioned in the comments grabbing an er ergonomic grip. It decreases melee and stamina usage by 10%. We might switch this over to the uh, club tonight. Oh, we might not. I don't know. But having it on the pickaxe when you're doing mining... Um, is great. It's just like ten percent. It may not seem like a lot, but it does add up. All right. I think there's a dog in here. Yep. Wow, that was a one shot, really. Ooh. How you doing? Oh, you got out of there, did you? Got out of there. All right, we'll give you that one. Now, he was up on there. It was nothing. It's just a passing gas. Okay. Let's grab this. Watch, it'll be mini bike handlebars. Nope. <laughs> it would just be my luck if that would be the case. All right, let's move on. Uh, let's just drop whatever we can in here. Um, storage. Let's drop you guys this and this. Actually, let's bring out some stuff that we're probably going to be encountering. Um, cloth, for sure. Actually, more like that, probably. Actually, you know what? More like... That. Alright, so that place is done. Not going to go to the shotgun aside today. Pawn shop, we, we should just sneak in the back door of the pawn shop. Have we done that yet? I don't think so. Oh, hey, buddy. Let me get some distance here so we can uh, get off the bike and switch over. Oh, we got another one. Let's get you first. I think you're a little faster. No, we have not gone in this place yet. So this place, pawn shop's always awesome to hit up. If you can get it early day, it's kind of okay. I like waiting a little bit till your game stage is up a little higher. Give you a better chance. Um, what's this one? Diamond tip blades. Um, better chance to find better stuff. We're going to go ahead, I think, and grab the eye candy out of the bike, too. Grab that. Grab that. Grab nothing. Because that's how I roll. Alright, a little bit more of that stuff. What have we got in here? I keep thinking, I, like, I don't like opening those, uh, I know it doesn't matter, I don't like opening these things, because it's always so loud and I think zombies are going to hear it over other stuff, but it's the same, it's the same, uh, sound level as everything else. Alright, um, let's bring this with us, leave that in there. Alright, we're going in here. We'll probably wrench this car apart too. Now, getting in this place, later games can be tougher because the zombies will be tougher. Oh, we got a spider monkey back here. But early game, if they don't hear you banging on this, you can get in here relatively easily. You're a runner. Okay, he's dead. And she's dead. No, you're not. You are now. There's usually only three back here. There used to be dogs in here. I preferred this POI when there was dogs back here. Now the dog, there's, I think there's a dog out front there. 
But as long as you're in this room, generally he won't hear you unless you're really making a lot of noise. But there's a ton of loot in here. So let's go ahead and pick this. Oh, we almost got it on the first shot. Almost, but not quite. Let's try a couple more times here, and then we'll open these boxes and come back. And one more. Not going to do it for me. All right. So, I know this is just psychological, but I like to, like, kind of reset the uh, RNG. And I know, I don't know really if it actually does it or not. Like I said, it's just all psychological, but I get I, I feel like if you move away from the object that you're trying to pick and wait for a second, let's get this box too, and then come back to it, oftentimes I find, uh, not this time, <laughs> proving me wrong because I'm actually talking about it, but oftentimes I find that when you come back on the first trial, let you pick it. And I don't know whether that's like what that is. Probably just me, like I said. All right, let's try again. Did I hear somebody? Nope. All right, well, how many do we got left? Eight. Oh, not yet. Come on. Uh, I'm not going to pick the trash here. Oh, we got two picks. <laughs> okay. <laughs> two more. Oh, all right. There it is. Okay, let's eat this eye candy now. <laughs> oh, man. Just got to stop talking sometimes. Keep this up. All right. Brass <laughs> knuckles and dollars. <laughs> man. Really... All right, whatever. Are we getting our money back? I don't think so, but we'll, I'll, we'll just take it. Ooh, level six spear though. That can sell for w pretty good. We got, uh, that's nice too. Parts are good. I got a feeling we'll be making uh, more weapons in the future. So the more parts, the better. I know the steel club parts are awesome. I want to try and get that as soon as possible, the schematic. Ah, uh, all right. Well, can go ahead and scrap this guy. Level one pump shotgun. That's not bad. I mean, twelve ten. We put something on it. It'll be thirteen ten. All right. I uh, can scrap that. Let's repair you. Um, you're worth more for the parts. Let's just scrap the leather hood. Uh, let's repair you. We picked up three repair kits and we'll repair this as well. Um, all right, that's fine. Now let's go ahead and break these down. All right, now let's take this car apart and then we're gonna head back home and prep for the horde. I think that was a pretty good day. We did pick up a pump shotgun, a bunch of ammo. You know, we didn't do too bad. It could have been a heck of a lot worse. Got a bunch of gas too, which really helps. Alright, let's go. Alright, we got everything put away. Let's go ahead and... Actually, I should leave the sugar butts in the... Uh, let's take this with us too, this tonight. These guys should stay in the... Um, in here. So I don't remember... I don't forget to take them with us. Oops, not you. You guys. Keep those on us for tonight. I'm going to bring the shotgun as a backup weapon tonight. Um, I don't know if we'll need it, but we'll have it. Um, okay, so in here, I'm going to ditch the stuff that we're not going to need tonight. If I have to come back up and grab it, we can. I'm going to take that with us in case we need to knock some blocks out of the way. Uh, what do we got in here? All of our pipe bombs. I mean, we're not going to need them all. We can always come back upstairs and get more if we need them. Molotovs just in case. I might use exploding arrows if we got to come up to the roof, so we'll have those. I'm going to grab all of the ammo just in case. Um, do we want to use the 44 tonight? Probably not. I can always come back up and get it. Grab some shotgun rounds. Uh, we need to grab... Well, we can put the weapon... Well, no, let's not put the weapon flashlight on. Let's put uh, the shotgun choke mod on. So with the shotgun, 
I like having the choke on it uh, simply because it really directs the fire into one small area. So if you're aiming for a zombie's head, most of the pellets will hit the head. That's the only reason why I use it like that. Um, I would prefer as many pellets as possible hit the zombies in the head. All right, let's bring down those, bring down these. Let's load up, actually let's move this around here. Uh, shotgun can go there. The bow, we can load up the exploding arrows. And hopefully I don't uh, shoot myself in the foot with those guys. Um, pipe bombs can come down here, so we have easier access. Uh, regular, regular arrows, atom junkies in case we need them. I don't know if we will. We might, oh, uh, you know what, we're not going to need that on us. You know, I say that, and I needed it last uh, day 60, sorry, day 63 of my horde control series. I could have used a pickaxe on me. If you haven't seen that episode, I don't know if it's out yet or not, but... Uh, yeah, that ended up being uh, an issue for me. Let's grab the junk sledge. Um, I know I said I wanted to put this down out front, so we're going to go ahead and do that. Let's bring these down for after the horde. Now, do we have another loot candy here? Oops. Uh, we do have another eye candy. We'll bring that down. Put them over here. Hopefully I don't forget to use them. It's kind of my uh, an issue I have. Bring those down. So let's have some pie. Go ahead, use two of these guys. We'll bring this down for tonight. And what else do we need on us? Food-wise, maybe we just bring... That's 22 health. This gives us health and... We'll bring one of those. That sounds like somebody's right outside. I think that's fine. We got this to drink. Ah, let's go shut this fucker up. We gotta put the robotic sledge outside anyway. Hey dude, what's up? Are you the, uh, are you the horde scout? Looks like we've been scouted for tonight. Nope, it was a wandering horde. Come on, bring it in. All right, so to help keep this door clear, I'm gonna put you there. See how it works out. Hopefully it keeps punting them away from the door, but I don't know. With it being flat like this, it may not work as well as it normally does for me. I don't know where else to put it. This might be one of those cases where actually having a proper junk turret is a little better. Yeah, we got some time. What's up, buddy? Yeah! Hey, what's up? Oh, look at that. You trying he tried to get a free hug. Did you notice that? You always ask before giving a hug. You didn't ask. Ooh. All right, let's get back inside. Yeah, if you don't know that, you always ask before you give somebody a hug. You get somebody who's like me, like, that this doesn't like being touched. Give me a hug. It's like, no, that's not happening. That's not happening. This block still is not... <laughs> it's not updated even. And I've loaded the game like three times and it's still like... Do I need to keep the torch here? Or keep you warm? Is that what I need to do? Warm you up a little bit? No? Oh, you know what we wanted to do though? We want to go ahead and before I forget... I almost forgot. Where's... Oh, the axe is in my inventory. It's okay, let's modify you. Take that out. And then... What do we want to lose? The barbed wire? Yeah, probably. I want the flames. I wonder if we can put the barbed wire mod on the junk sledge. I wonder if it'll work. I don't know. Never tried it. I think the weighted head does work though. Let's grab you. 
see what we can put on you. Ah. If I had another uh, flame on mod here, I'd use it. Uh, we've got a weighted head. All right, so um, modify. No, you don't take. You'll take the weighted head, though. It does add a bit of damage. Do I take the. Ah, uh, man. I don't want to take the flames off my uh, bat. But this turret's going to be hitting a lot more mobs than I am. And that way we'll be able to use all of the mods. It's still the same damage. It's just... We have less light this way. Ah, uh, forget it. Yeah, uh, we'll just leave the uh, mods in our uh, inventory here. Okay. It's nice having a uh, the horde base in your house at the same location. Um, simply because... There we go. I think that's probably... Yeah, that's close enough. Um, because then if you like run out of stuff, you can just kind of go upstairs and get what you need and come back down. That is kind of the bonus of this. Leave that door closed. That door can stay closed. Uh... I'm going to leave that closed too. I think we're ready. I think we're ready. I can't see anything we're... Oh, first aid supplies. Like stuff for breaking our leg or whatever. Okay. Uh, let's bring a splint with us. Bring a vitamin with us. Bring some of that with us. Got enough healing on us. Bring you up. I mean, yeah, we're not encumbered, so we're okay. Oh, and stuff to repair with. Yeah, man. Um, I don't think we're going to need to repair stuff. We almost have no concrete, though. Hammer can come down here. Now we're encumbered. Not that it matters. Uh, forged iron. Bring some of that with us, too. And then we can leave behind. Probably leave that in there. And you know what? I don't think we're going to need this. Oh, and we've got two jars and some iron on us. Uh, one iron can go in there. Two empty jars. Yeah, there we go. Beautiful. Alright, I'm ready to hard rock this now. The only thing that can go wrong is they decide that they don't want to come to this front door. <sighs> but we'll find out. So, I should have really tested if the pipe bombs will drop down here. I'm sure it'll be no problem, though. And we know we can bounce it off the wall out there and step in here and not get, get caught with the explosion, so we're okay there. Throwing it through here might be a bit of an issue, but I think bouncing it off there and letting it roll down will be more than fine. Alright, well, and we got this. With lots of ammo. It's all quiet. Come on. Happy Halloween. Where are all my trick-or-treaters at? Oh, man. Love to know what your thoughts on this, this base are. We're going to change it for the next Horde Night, I think. Depending on how well this one goes, I don't think this is a sustainable base moving forward. We really got to figure out how we're going to deal with um, a large Horde. And I think it's going to end up being, we extend this out a bit, right? And then we cut a pit out front here. Uh, because, I mean, I could go up, but I don't want to go up. Um, it's going to make the house look even more funny if I do that. But then we cut a pit out, or we can go the building behind us, but we can cut a pit out here and extend a, run, a runway for them to go across to attack the door. And if they fall in the pit, give them stairs to get out and come around again. I mean, that's an option. I don't know. Let me know what you think in the comments section down below. Okay, they're coming from the back. They are coming to the door. Beautiful. What's up, guys?
So I'm interested to see how this sledge works with these guys. Oh, they got a piece of me. See how that clears them out? Yeah, pretty good. The sledge is working a little bit. The one thing about the sledge too, I mean, it does clear the door. It doesn't do very much damage. But um, the thing I like about it is you don't have to reload it like you do the junk turret. Yeah, I think it was better keeping the uh, flame on here. Can definitely see the zombies better. Enjoy. The other thing I think about having a walkway to the front is that it'll, um... Oh, mama, come on. It'll, uh... Keep the bags away from the front door. So it won't clutter things up as much. Because they'll fall off the ramp and into the, onto the uh, ground below. Oh, she got a piece of me. That was bad timing. Look at them. They're getting tossed by that turret, man. Another guy got a piece of me. Oh, I got an abrasion now. Great. Oh, it was the spider monkey. There you go. Hold up. Hold that monkey. All right, that bounced out. Do I need a sewing kit for that? What do I need for that? First aid bandages will help it out. What's going on here? Why is it... Oh man, really? It's in some weird loop there for a second. Alright, I gotta clear you out. Enjoy! Oh, that bounced too far. There was nobody in the door. There we go, that should help. Ah. Uh, a whole bunch of spider monkeys just showed up. Let's deal with them. Oh, there's a cop. Here, hold that, will ya? Oh, he went down. Okay, he went down. They've taken out the first set of bars. I got to. I didn't think they were gonna do that. Yeah, first set of bars went down. I was like, I may not even have to repair the bars, but... Yeah, they took them out. Ah, I was hoping I could get a shot at that cop. I got intense there for a second. Hold that for me, will you guys? Yeah, they're eating their way through these bars. Nope, I think we go this route.
I should have looked at my game stage before the uh, battle started here. It would have been interesting to see where we were at. Hold that, will ya? I think that's it. I think that's it. Maybe not. Spoke too soon. Let me make sure we get those dogs. I don't know if they can get through there. I think I got the cop before he blowed up. Before he blowed up. May the good lord take a liking to you and blow you up real soon. I, I thought the horde was over. What kind of fool am I? This is only 16 zombies, too. Get a second one out there. Still coming. I guess I should check these bars since we've only got one set left. Since we're using guns, let's just throw this up just in case. Don't want to get caught unaware here. Wow, this is a slaughter fest. I think I got that cop in the background. Yep. I'm so glad I made this M60. I am so glad I made this M60. Oh yeah, you're beating on my house. I think that's it now. Bring out the anti-air M60. I think that's it now. Alright, with the exception of that abrasion, we did pretty good. Alright, sounded pretty quiet, so let's go ahead and put these on. And let's use this. Keeping the M60 out. Uh, let's put some stuff away before we go down there because I think we're going to get full real quick and I don't want to uh, have an issue here. You can go in there now. Um, you guys, let's put some of this away. Um, maybe we're putting too much away, I don't know. Shotgun can go away for now. This guy can go away. All right, let's go down there. Make sure that's open. All right, some food and some coin. All right, take as much ammo as we can get. I like some good stuff that I can use here. Other boots, meh. All right, more coin. At least we'll be able to buy stuff with the coin. All right, iron helmet we can sell. Another sledge. Arrows. Okay. Steel club parts. More arrows. Ah, uh, we can sell that. Garbage. Some iron. Or forged steel, I mean. Yeah, so they did take out one of the uh, front bars. 
Um, let's get this replaced real quick. Might as well take that upstairs with me. Yeah, it's... I should have been watching. I know I should have been watching. How much was left there? 1,500. Yeah, I mean, they didn't do any damage to the outside, really. A little bit here. A little bit here. You know, and the rest is, I think, is from pipe bombs. A little bit there. A little bit there. Yeah, so very minimal damage. It's just these bars. I think maybe we take them out and put in um, poles. We can make the poles steel then. But I am going to leave this episode here, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll get some stuff sorted tonight. Figure out what we're going to take to the trader tomorrow. Maybe get the bike loaded up. And then uh, we'll head off to the traders tomorrow. See what they have. Um, and go from there. All right. So I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. You can also drop any comments in the comment section down below. Until next time, we'll see you later.